Hey, this is Anderson. Uh, welcome to Wolf Classics up here in sunny Kingfield, Maine. Glad you guys could join us. I uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight on the 2.3 EcoBoost and what it's all about. Wolf Classics, our mission is to build the finest classic Defender for North American roads. Powertrains on these trucks are generally over 20 years old and kind of outdated technology and really just aren't designed for the distances and the you know speeds that we need to travel here in the States. All that said, a lot of these different options are like bringing a backhoe to a sandbox. So enter the Ford EcoBoost, where you know we've fully integrated solution that you know does all the low end work, it does high end work, able to get you up to speed quickly, um, able to use fuel efficiently. You know it's not super loud, and it's you know just a lot more sprite to the engine and drive, so it feels like a modern day driver, and just keeps us you know visible much as we can, you know, worry and trouble free going down the road with all the available low end torque that we need, you know, able to get to higher speeds, able to pass, which is not common in the Defender market, um, and keep everything cool, quiet and comfortable in the cab, you know, so that you can have just a really nice driving experience. And this four cylinder from Ford is the perfect placement for this. It fits in a number of different vehicle options, anywhere from series trucks all the way through the very last in 2015 Defenders, and even, you know, Disco 1s, Disco 2s, Range Rover Classics. Um, and kind of the rationale behind it was, you know, hey, how do we keep this looking like an OEM solution, right? So we started working on that. We're able to get a truck delivered that was, you know, largely together over to Ford Performance and then began kind of our two and a half year you know, relationship with them, just say, hey, this is what we're looking for. This is what we've designed. You know, they helped us, you know, kind of tweaking the performance aspect of it, whether it's an automatic, whether it's manual, we have, you know, PCM solutions for either of those options. And, and they've had the chance to start to finish work through everything that we've installed with it. So it's a custom tune, it's a custom program that works directly with these trucks. And why that's nice is now I can actually take that truck and you can go to any Ford dealership or any qualified mechanic they can plug into it, you know, any sort of issues that may be needed down the road, they can diagnose right there on site rather than having to send it back to like a bespoke, you know, builder that may or may not be able to get you back in for the next, you know, six, seven months, right? Rather than, you know, relying on a company like Cummins or someone from LS, you know, or, you know, having to find a mechanic that is able to properly tune, you know, kind of the LS motors. We just have the OEM solution out of the gate. So by the time you're plugging and playing or plugging in this PCM, you're basically turning the key and it's headed on down the road. You know, other reasons why we like it too is it's kind of exactly what Land Rover designed, you know, right? They're, you know, a very understated brand. It's cool just as it sits, right? There's not much we can do to make it a lot cooler than it roll off the line. And what we've done is basically said, hey, in the American market, you have to be able to do a certain speed. If you want to be able to travel with it, you know, you've, you've got to be able to get it up to speed without getting run over on freeways. So the 2.3 EcoBoost kind of blends all of that. So now it's seamless where it goes into the truck, looks like it grew there organically, and allows you to go down the freeway at, you know, 75, 80 miles an hour while getting 25 to 28 miles per gallon. So in the automatic field, we've paired them with a 10-speed automatic from Ford. And why that's cool is, you know, you're in the right gear absolutely all the time. And it's fun from, hey, you've just touched the accelerator all to, hey, now we're doing 85, 90 miles an hour. I don't recommend it, but you can do it, which is great. Um, and then along with that too, our automatic options come with tap shift. So on the uh, shifter itself, you'll be able to drop it all the way back into sport mode, which means that you're holding gears longer. Um, able to do and just more fun things in general with it, but you're able to, you know, toggle through up and down gears uh, depending on what kind of driver you know, you want to be for the day. On the manual side, you know, we've got two different options. We can fit it to an MT82, which would be the later style Puma gearbox that has six speeds, and that's a great gearbox. And then also have the option to fit it to an R380. Um, on the R380 front. 
That also fits the face of an LT77, which is kind of the older gearbox and just allows a little bit more versatility for those that maybe don't want to buy, you know, kind of the larger MT82 variant. It kind of keeps things a little more, you know, cost conscious as you're building your project. And they're all great solutions and are built in OEM. 2.3 EcoBoost, also the way that we've got this thing designed is you're able to actually plug it into the what we feel are the best parts about Land Rover. That transfer case that comes in it is absolutely indestructible unless you're really, really winding on it. But even then, I mean, she can hold up to quite a bit. What's beautiful about this kit is that it stays in kind of its native location so that you're able to use all of the existing parts, right? So that from a swap standpoint, a lot of times you have to change, you know, front and rear prop shafts. You have to change kind of the angles and departure angles from, you know, different components of the drivetrain to get everything to work and talk together. We've designed it so that your transfer case is exactly where it wants to be. We just plug everything else into it, whether it's an R380 transmission, um, an LT77, or even our automatic. Um, we just go forward of that so that, you know, it remains in its kind of native location so that you can use it and it's much more consistent install using the best parts of what Land Rover designed. Uh, so I'm sure most of you or some of you are familiar with what it sounds like to drive a 200, 300 TDI diesel motor in one of these older trucks. And for those of you that are not, um, here's just kind of a simple audio and drive along. So you hear just a little bit of rattle <laughs> going on with it. Uh, but now we'll just take it out for a simple cruise. See it as RPMs go up, rattles become a little bit lighter. Um, but this is part of the beauty of these trucks, right? It's old, it has a grit to it, it's diesel, it sounds like kind of an old tractor, and it definitely drives like one. So when we spin it around here, we'll just do kind of a, a first through fifth launch, just to show you what it's all about. So here we go. First gear, second gear, so again if you're not really in a hurry or you don't need to merge or get an on-ramp, I mean this is perfect, just getting around town, it's still fun, I get it, but it makes a loud, loud noise, I'm, I feel like I'm yelling at this point. cruising speed right now doing about 40 45 somewhere in that neighborhood about 2200 2400 rpm and this is the ride you know we've got the aromatic freshness of the diesel fumes coming in from the back even though all the windows are up uh, and that's just part of the beauty of these you know, we enjoy driving them we love them um, but if you could just take it that extra step to make it more of a driver's vehicle, something that you could easily just jump in, not have to worry about, hey, I left the truck out last night, it's cold, you know, having to worry about diesel gelling and, you know, things like that. You know, this, it may not be for everybody, um, but the 2.3 EcoBoost is a great option to kind of OEM quality, run and drive, just to maintain the beauty and, you know, the prestige of these vehicles. Again, we have the windows all the way up. You know, the heat is on, it probably won't ever get warm all the way, <laughs> just because of the way that they're run. Uh, but we still love them. I mean, they're great trucks. You know, we're just kind of taking these 300s, 200 trucks, even TD5s, you know, if you don't want to spend time, you know, tinkering to get them, you know, to 111 horsepower on their best day of their lives, you know, we've got, you know, considerably better solution to make these things a much more reliable vehicle everyday driver just kind of combining you know the modern drivetrain with kind of the classic look and classic you know just overall feel that these vehicles are beloved and known for all right hey so we're in a 2.3 ecoboost with the 10-speed automatic um, and as you can see uh, in the cab we don't have any you know headliner or you know any sort of sound deadening besides myself and shooting the camera here so you can hear it's a little bit more echoey you know, and really gonna kind of showcase, you know, how quiet exactly this engine really is um, when under load, when driving, 
and we're just going to take you on a little bit of a tour just to kind of show you here's what this engine's all about. I'm gonna do just a simple launch here. This is about quarter throttle. She's got some get up and go so that you can get down the road easily, seamlessly, but it always, always is in the right gear, right? So, you know, you can go about your daily life, you know, you do it, you know, modern everyday to and from traffic, you know, stop and go, that sort of thing. It's, you know, remarkably more comfortable. It's a lot more quiet. I don't feel like I'm yelling. Um, it, you know, it's just kind of what these trucks really should need had, you know, Defender stayed in production post-2015. So this is about 45, 50 miles an hour. And it just goes effortlessly. And you still do get a little bit of whistle from the twin scroll turbo that this has. But at any point in time, I've got considerably under the foot that I can add to this and you know, send it down the road if I wanted to. So let's say that I wanted to pass. You know, I'm in a pretty straight shot right now. I'm at about a quarter throttle, uh, roughly 1500 RPM. If I just give it a little bit more to the pedal, drops the gear and I've got plenty there that I'm now at you know 75 miles an hour so it's got plenty of horses um, for everyday use and or you can just drive it as comfortably as you see fit reputation is absolutely everything right so what we do is we pride ourselves in just a handful of builds per year that we can proudly put our name on you know we want to have the build that you feel comfortable even ourselves feel comfortable with washing on a Saturday morning because we're proud of you know what it is that we're putting out you know another component of that too is you know when you are selecting a builder you know oftentimes we hear it was incredible communication up front you know, and then all of a sudden it was just crickets once the project was signed up and you know the deposits were taken that sort of thing we pride ourselves in providing kind of ongoing you know whether it's weekly or you know, even daily uh, for some people that want it that often, you know, just updates, whether it's photos, videos, you know, just general texts about, you know, information on how their truck is coming along and their build is progressing. You know, we're happy to provide that information that you kind of have a real time view of what your project is doing. Everything is under one roof that we don't have to, you know, ship it out to, you know, another company to do this part of the install and then another company to do this part of, you know, paint work, you know, with keeping everything under one roof. That's your truck all in one place. And we have hands on every single aspect of that.